just so annoying. That, I don't know why men are just so impossible, unbelievable. And, oh my gosh, God, I'm just so pissed. Honey, calm down, please. Okay? Do, do you know that his friend is a fool as well? Telling me, eh, it's not just one night and I get what I want. That other girls are ready to do it and I'm, that was so special about me. That's okay, I, I, I understand how you feel. But it's okay, take it easy. Alright? This is my dream. No. My dream for so many years and I can't get it because I cannot sacrifice my body on the table of my own career. Tony. We're in this together. Trust me. It will skill through. Hand in hand, you and I will cross this hurdle together. I am with you. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Come. We are not seeing any. Our ego is not doing anything. My question is, why will Igwe Okaka use his daughter as a trap? When we all know the kind of king we have, that is not a person that can be trapped with a woman. Igwe came by is very intelligent to read in between the lines. He's a failed mission on arrival. I mean, what Igwe Okaka is doing with his daughter. It's obvious that Igwe doesn't want to take the oil contract or do what we said before. As for me, the princess should get out of the palace immediately because she's already a failure. She's not working. I don't think so. The presence of Princess Adeze in the palace is another way of making our Igwe bow. Even if our Igwe is not man enough, the beauty of Princess Adeze will make him succumb. Yes, I believe they are working on something. Let us give them some time and chance what time and chance i'm not seeing this i'm not seeing this at all honestly the princess is there just for her selfish interest she is there to marry the famous king you are there and forget about her father's company really let us just watch let's keep our fingers crossed Igwe. Igwe. Some people... They are praying for your downfall, though. They are praying for your downfall. Mana, two Biyama will never allow them to succeed. Never. I hear them. I hear them. Oh yeah. They say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sand, sand, sand. And then pour the red oil on top sand. And I ask myself, who is pouring red oil on top sand? Why? Maka why no? Red cat chips. All your red cat chips. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking to my Igwe. You can go to your meeting and talk to him. Mana, all your red cat chips. They don't like you. They don't like you. Be very careful. Watch your back. Now, that was how, if you don't watch your back, remember how? Eh? Your father, they manipulated red cap, oh. red cap, oh. they manipulated and said he died in plane crash. Hmm? You are here, they are manipulating now. Because we don't want you. Anyway, let's leave that one. Hold your meeting with them. No, my, my allowance for eating and drinking. 
So I can sustain myself. A man cannot kill himself. <laughs> Where are you going to stop drinking? I'm drinking. You get me? Let me eat first. Once I collect my lawi and I will eat. And here, how is that drinking? Hey, Otega, uh, it is well. You're my friend, and I promised to always take care of you. Thank you. My name is Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can go. I want to have a word with Ono. Eh? Yes. You can go. You can go. Oh, my, oh, my. Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Watch your step, eh? Igwe, Igwe. Funny drunk. <laughs> but honestly, Your Highness, you can talk sense sometimes. Oh yes, yeah, sometimes I agree with you. I do agree. Um, oh no, something I need to know. This man they call Mazi Onora. Oh, oh Mazi Onora, the one that returned from the north. Yes. Does he have grown up kids? Mature kids, boys, and girls, you know. Um, the Majesty, honestly, I don't know because he he he, he doesn't come out. He doesn't mingle with people. I personally, I regard him as an introvert. Oh, well, I need you to know more. You would have to do the legwork and get back to me. I also want to know if he's benefited. From the Kimba Scare Initiative. It's all right, Your Majesty. Consider uh, it done. I also need to know if he has a grown up daughter called Miriama. I will consider it done as well. I will do, I will do just that. Oh no, I am quite curious. I. You were asking about my daughter? Yes. Actually, it is the king, Igwe Ikemba. He has been wondering uh, if you and your family have actually benefited from the Ikemba Care Initiative. Yes. Uh, you know, you just returned from the north. Okay. And um, <clears throat> he is. Uh, in fact, he, he has just remembered you, he has opened your page. Yes, and um, he wants to extend his kindness, his assistance to your family. So he wants to know if you have children. <laughs> if I have children? Yes. But you, oh no, of all people, you ought to have known that I have a daughter. Eh? As a matter of fact, I had three children. Eh? A daughter... That's a minimum. And two sons. But those two sons, they died about four years ago. Yes, I remember. Sorry about that. I remember you once told me about your two sons who died some years ago as a result of maybe kidney problem. Or yes, something. renal problem. I, I, I told you and I, that. I, I, I only told you that it remains uh, that girl, minimum. Yes. Miroma, yes. Uh, Miroma, yes. We have not been seeing her. Where is that Miroma? We have not been seeing her in this kingdom. Where is she? Anyway, she hardly stays in this kingdom. And um, she had just concluded her master's uh, degree course. And um, she's trying to see whether she can secure lecturing job in our state uh, university wow this is great 
Uh, she, is, she is indeed renowned. If you say so. Ah! <laughs> wow! Um, you should be proud of her, having such a daughter in your family. Mm -hmm. You should be to, so to, proud. To say I'm proud is an, <laughs> an understatement. We are elated <laughs> about her. <laughs> mm. uh, it's all right. Uh, it's okay. Um, let me ask you this simple question. Uh, um, in case Igwe Kemba would want to help your family, in which aspect would you like him to do that? Mm, uh, none, none at all. Huh? Yes, none. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm living comfortably with my family and uh, you're okay. You're okay. Uh, on the other hand, I would like to advise Igwe Kemba to continue doing the good work which he has been doing. Eh? Hmm. Let him not relent, no matter what. Eh? Uh, on a second remote thought, if there is a help which I would have liked him to render to us, is for him to bring back our two late sons, which I know it is impossible. <laughs> so that is the need I, I would know. have liked him to help, but it's impossible. You know, of course, that is very, very impossible. You know that. Hmm. Uh, it's all right. Otherwise, now. we are very comfortable. Okay. Uh, I have to be on my way now. Yeah, let me take the message to the king. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. My, my regards to him. Um, it's all right. It's your know, you are a good man indeed. Hmm. Uh, just the way people talk about you. Thank you very much. Yes. Hmm. I just have to be on my oh, way. Hey, oh no. Would you stay so at least you can have something to no, thank you. Thank you. No, don't worry about the food. We'll eat some other time. Mm. Yes. It's all right. Let, uh, <clears throat> yeah. let me see him off, my dear. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Like I said, you mm. honestly, you are a good man. His Majesty. Mm. Me, I, I, I need that help. I want the help. See my daughter. She needs that job too. Why is my husband always like this? Always claiming to have it all. Hmm? I mean, she do, he, do, he doesn't have anything. What, what, what kind of a man is this? Mm. So, Papa, you mean you know who said His Majesty wants to help us? Yes, so. That is not what he said. His Majesty is simply trying to know whether we have benefited from his initiative, period. That is exactly what I just said. But you put it in a different language. In other words, you are paraphrasing it. Um, so, Papa, what was your response? Your father said that we do not need any help. Imagine that. Imagine what? Imagine what? What are you trying to say? Huh? That I am not taking good care of my family or what? But we cannot turn down a harmless help from the king who has been helping people in this village. Harmless help for those who actually need it. Are you hearing me, my daughter? For those who actually need it. But your mother, you, what exactly, what help do you want? Eh? Or are you saying that I'm not taking good care of my family and you inclusive? But this is strange. It's not strange anything. His Highness simply want to know if we are all right. That's one of the hallmarks, one of the characteristics of good kings of his ilk. But our daughter here is looking for a job in the state university. Don't you think that the king can help in this regard? I mean, sometimes you made me, you, you make me laugh, eh? 
because of your poor and childish way of reasoning, eh? come to think of it, His Majesty is neither the VC of the school nor commissioner for education or anything related to that. How do you expect him to get about doing that? My husband, with his power, fame and money, he can do this. <laughs> he can secure this job for our daughter. My dear wife, I can see you are dwelling in a cloud cuckoo land. The earlier you come down, the better. Okay? I don't see any cuckoo land here. I know that the king can do it. Just let us give it the chance. Eh? Well. Cuckoo land, cuckoo uh. land. <laughs> Honey, yes, I think your mother is right. Really? Yeah, she's right. You see, the white lion, your king, is wealthy. Very wealthy and highly influential. People do get state government jobs from him, and even private sector jobs from him, just by his recommendation. So, there's no harm in trial. Let's give this a try. So, what are you suggesting? Is it, I am suggesting you. No, I'm not even suggesting. Listen. Go straight to him. Tell him your challenges, your plans. He never can tell. He might be of help to us. I think you're making a point. Of course. I made a point. A very good one at that. I need you to go to your quarters and get into your maiden uniform. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Get into your maiden uniform just like the rest of them. And then come and show yourself to me. Out. Show sure, you. Yeah. Are you avoiding me? I can 
can do anything. In fact, I can even take a bullet for you. I can sacrifice anything just to make me charming and adorable king happy. But you must do one thing for me. Do not make me sad anymore. I need a man like you. I need a man like you in my life. Just make me your queen already. My lord. You don't love me. I do. Of course I do. I swear by the gods. Yeah. Do not use the name of the gods to color your lies. Tell me. Anything you want me to do. To prove my love for you. I will do it. And that would be you leaving me alone. The truth. I am not here on a mission. I am not here because of my father. Of course not. You wish you're not. No, 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 I'm not. I am here because I love and adore you. My precious, precious king. You know what they say? When you tell a lie for too long, you begin to believe it as the truth. I see that you have lied to yourself that you love me. And you're beginning to believe it. But I cannot lie to you, my friend. I dare say. Oh, I, I cannot lie to you. That is it. My king. I have enormous respect for your father, Igor Kaka. And that is why I have not asked the guards to come in here and throw you out. Please, respect yourself and leave. But you don't have to blame me. I feel so much warmer. Would you rise and leave? Or do I call the guards? You have a choice to make. It's fine. I will go. But I will be back. My lord. Amaka, are you serious? Uju, I almost peed on my pants. Hey. It never worked. Never. I have never been this humiliated in my entire life. Hey. Are you telling me that those eyes that he was gazing at you did not work? It never worked. Hey. I thought he was falling for it. The next, he ordered me out of his chambers. I will never, I mean, I will never dress so stupidly again. Hey, I think he's the princess that is causing all this nonsense. No, I swear, she's not. The princess herself is at where he's not. Oh. I've monitored them closely. So all her antics, none is working for her. None! Hey! Jesus Christ. So I must tell you, if you have any plan, or you are intending to get His Majesty to notice you. Hmm. Would you just cancel it? No, 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 no. Because your own, I'm telling you, your own, I mean yours, might be a very dirty slap. I'm leaving. Leave now, leave. Look at you. Go, 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 go. I don't even need people like you in this palace. You are, you are confusing my brain. I will not give up. I will not give up. I will keep fighting. I will fight to the end. Your Majesty, there is a clear revelation that Onoha has a daughter whose name is Miriama. <laughs> Incredible. 
Yes. And um, that daughter of his is the only surviving child. Yes. And the young lady wants to work as a lecturer in the state university. Is that right? That is right, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes. Do they have not benefited from the Ikemba Care Initiative? But he's not bothered. He's so comfortable with the wonderful work we are doing in the community. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, when you got to that house, did you see the yes. girl in question? Did you talk to her? I actually, I, I, I did not, Your Majesty. Hmm. I see. I see. Uh, there is something interesting about that girl. Something different, something unique. Oh no. <laughs> uh, you'll not understand. Uh, it's okay. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> May the gods guide our path. Medioma. She keeps appearing to me in my dreams. Medioma. has come to a point where I got to see her. But what do I do? Do I send for her to be brought to the palace? Or do I just go to her parents' place? To find her. Ah. Uh. She has appeared one time too many and it is time that I get to see you in the physical. Guest is here to see you. I'll be out in a moment. As it pleases you. Generous King Guy, what you don't know when you're there, no one. If I get in, no one can't. A bell of a man, a bell, if we get my one. White lion, nigga, I am a lesson for me, Sally, Sally, a chef for giver, a chef for giver, you know the best thing for money. Uh, what can be there? What can be there? It's happy, dear people, man of good will, you know the axe for reward. What can I Miriam, Your Majesty, you know my name? Yes, I know your name. How are you? I am fine, Your Majesty. Thank you for honoring me, for giving me the privilege to stand in your sight. And you are welcome. Would you like something to eat, to drink, anything at all? No, no. Thank you so much. You're fine. Yes, ma'am. Of course I can see that you're fine. Listen. Thank you, Your Majesty.
You're welcome to my palace. Please, feel free to tell me what brings you to the palace. Your Majesty, I am a graduate of mass communication. I graduated from the University of Jos, came out to the first class. I also did my master's in the Bauchi State University. I have master's in investigative journalism and linguistics. But I want to become a lecturer in the State University and there is no headway. You want to be a lecturer? Yes, Your Majesty. The State University. Consider it done. <laughs> One second. Educate! Educate! Your Highness. Uh, let me have my mobile phone. So sweet. You're so sweet. So what do you what do you want? Tell me what you want, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Doing, sir? I am fine. I'm fine. May you live long, sir. May you live long, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you wouldn't blame me. The demands of royalty can be overwhelming sometimes, and I just um, find that I'm missing in action. <laughs> and how is your head? How is your family? Good. And let me take this time. Prof, to thank you one more time for the gifts you sent across during my birthday celebration. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. <laughs> ah, Prof, I know that um, you are at work, so I'll just get straight to it. Oh, yes. I have a young friend of mine here with me. Um, she wants... Um, a job as an academic staff in your institute. Yes. Please. Lecturing. Yes. Mass communication. Exactly. Prof. <laughs> this one is very dear to me. I can send her over to see you today. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Oh, she'll come see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, it is done, my dear. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Oh, it's not Thank you so much, my king. Thank you. Hey, JK. Your Majesty. I want you to take her one of the royal cars to her destination. She has an appointment with the Vice Chancellor. Huh? When she's done, you take her back to her house before you come back to the palace. Am I clear? Yes, please. All right, get the car ready. Um, Your Majesty. Isn't that so much? It's fine. I can get a cab or I'll trek. Miriam, nothing is too much for you. You already have the job. The meeting is just a formality. Huh? Thank you so much, my king. You get on the job. You 
do it for a while. You tell me how you feel. And if at some point you don't like it anymore there, let me know. I'm going to build you a university and make you the vice chancellor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you. You're welcome, Kuma. All the best. Driver's waiting for you. Thank you, Majesty. All the best. Who is that girl? My princess, which particular girl are you talking about? The girl that was with the king. The particular girl that just left with the chief guard a few minutes ago. Oh, my princess, I don't know anything about her. I know nothing about her. Get me her details before night falls. As it pleases you, my princess. Thank you. <laughs> a lecturer. He is already in love with the girl. <laughs> he even wants to build a university and make her the vice chancellor. <laughs> What an amazing offer. <laughs> My mission here must be accomplished. Uh, honey? My car, my car, my car broke down. He's not the mechanic of a guy. Eh? He keeps collecting money from me every now and then. I, I, I'm tired. He'll end up not doing anything in the car. I, I've been calling him. His number is not connecting. Okay. All right, honey. I love you too, honey. All right. Oh. You know, I've been telling you to change this car. Change this car and go for a better one. But instead, you went and repented it to make it look as if it's a new one. But meanwhile, it's a very old car. Problem here and there. Today, overheating. Tomorrow, shock observer. Next tomorrow, plug. Change this car. What day? What day? Woggy one day. Ha! Kenna, I have noticed one thing. I don't know why. Is it that? You see, poor people. Poor people, they have bad mouth. Guy. <laughs> You've not been able to buy one tire in your life. You don't even know if you can buy one tire in the next year to come. That's a bad thing. Eh? In one. I specifically called you to be here. Please watch after this car. Let me go and see my mechanic. Okay? Yeah. His number has not been connecting since morning. Anamabia. Hmm? So, how much? For waiting. Oh, the vigilante now. Get out. If I blow you, eh? Are you Oh, boy, you're not to. Are you going? Buy something now. I'm sorry for what happened. I'm very sorry. Huh? It's okay, sir. Thank you so much. Why didn't you tell me that you are related to Igwe Kemba? It wasn't necessary. My bad, anyway. I hope you did not tell him anything. No, not at all. You sure? Thank you very much. 
Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I'm grateful. I beg to take my leave now. That's all right. Thank you so much. This piece has so many um, bad, bad ones in it. Do the same. You have a complete diet. You have a plantain iron. But uh, this thing is protein now, then yam for carbohydrates. I'm saying that he has so much spoilt ones. I don't know what they sell these days. Hey, of course. I'll put uh, well, you in. Well, the quantity of those that are bad is bad for the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. huh? You have to decide if it's plantain. Is it really normal? Eh? Is it normal? <laughs> Mommy, what is daddy, good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Mommy, daddy. Yes. I am now a lecturer. <laughs> How did that happen? How manage? Okay. I went to the palace to tell the king about my flight to the state university. Uh -huh. His Royal Majesty mm -hmm. called the Vice Chancellor right from his palace and informed him that I was coming right away. The very Vice <laughs> Chancellor that was dribbling you. Yes, you don't. You That's don't good. mean it. That's no. good. Hmm? And guess what? He asked the palace guards to go with me to the school. Hmm. Getting to the school, everything became stew. Whoa! <laughs> and the Vice Chancellor signed and approved my employment later. Ozubo, Ozubo. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. So That's you are good. now a lecturer. Hey, hey. I can imagine that vice hey. chancellor wearing long face and long mouth out of ignominy. My daughter is not. Hey. Mama, 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 Oh, God, thank you. I thank you, God. My daughter. Without being told, you are fond of her. And who do you speak of? <laughs> I have never seen you treat any of your subjects the way. You treated her, especially my gender. I chose to. And I love what I did. I see. So tell me. What made you do it, huh? I mean, a royal car? A convoy? And your special guard? Like I said before, I chose to. But you dare to ask me, the king, why I did what I did. She has taken a special place in your heart. I see it written all over your face. And you are not far from the truth. Hmm. I don't think you can win her heart. Adesi, I am constantly amazed at your level of brevity and confidence to question my authority here in my palace, even as the king. And I ask you, here and today, are you beginning to take my hospitality? For granted. I am only speaking what is in my heart, dear King. It pleases my heart to know that you still recognize me as your king. However, I tell you here and now, Adesi, 
that the end of your days in this palace is near. I do not desire to ask that you leave, but I will ask that you stop making a fool of yourself, that is. Bridle your tongue, for the might. I love you too, my golden jewel. I have vowed that nothing will ever take me away from you. Same here. It's just yesterday. You toiled, suffered, gave you all, sacrificed hugely for me to be where I am today. I owe my life to you. We will be getting married very soon. I am glad you never disappointed me. I am carrying a part of you. I will never disappoint you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for standing strong by me. You and my parents are my hero. That's okay. I just can't thank you enough. I yeah, understand. That was in the past. The future is ours. You and I. Welcome to your dream, the most beautiful creation I've ever seen in my entire life. I always love you. Sleepless nights. Oh God, she is the epitome of beauty. She's like the bright morning star graced with intelligence and beautified with compassion and love. Oh, I'm so restless. For a king needs a queen, and I think that I have found. Getting married to my woman. What could be the meaning of this dream? Does it mean that King Ikemba, the white lion, wants to take my woman away from me? all that I have. She's 
She's my pride. She's my jewel. She's my gold. The only thing that I have. No. I mean no disrespect, princess. I just told you my name. <laughs> I like you. Can we be friends? I'm sorry. I do not keep friends. I see. Do you know who my father is? Igwe Okaka. My father crowned your king, Ikema. Are you aware of that particular history? Oh yes, princess. And yet, you don't want to be friends with the daughter of a famous king. Hmm? Like I said, I do not keep friends. I mean, we're your friends. <laughs> Wash your words so your mouth will not get into trouble. That will be all for now. Mary, Biko, who is that girl? Uh, and uh, what does she want? Uh, Mama, this lady did not make a single point here. Hold on, Mioma. Do you mean she left the palace and came all the way to your house to ask you to be her friend? Palace. Princess. the palace guards came here and drove off with her. He said that the uh, white lion wants to see her. The white lion wants to see her? Hmm. I was here and they, he came. The two of them left. <coughs> okay, I... I will call her on the phone then. Uh, no problem. Call her. Call her. Yes. Well, you have to be on our way now. Mm, okay. Okay. Thank mm. you, ma. Bye-bye. Why would the king be sending for your girl to come to the palace? Should we pay him a visit? Pay him a visit for what? Some for what? For your girl, of course! Or are you afraid of the king? Look, all I'm saying is that let your heart not be troubled. You can, uh, my very good friend. My heart is not troubled. Alright? Thanks for your concern, all the same. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Come on. Are you, are you sure about this? Absolutely. Me? It's okay. Listen, listen. Should we just pay him a visit? Mm. Don't bother about the visit. It is not necessary. Why is her number switched off? This is unlike her. I, 
I don't want to have any negative thought or feeling. Have you lost it? What kind of stupid advice is this, Ikenna? Have you lost it? Don't, 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 don't ever in your life make this kind of comment again. Please. Calm down now. Have I said anything wrong? How, listen, listen, I'm looking out for you as my friend. I know what I'm saying. See, I don't want your property to turn to another man's property. Me. Ogunomwa. If not me. Ah, but for don't give this girl the lesson. Straight up! No time! Unfortunately for you, it cannot no be your girl, it be not my girl. Thanks for your advice, but please keep it to yourself. How do you expect me to get a fine a student pregnant? Just because I want to scare her away from other men. Are you stupid? Have you lost it or what? I know what I'm saying. God is helping you now. You are feeling it by your power. You see, all these Chiwakon boys, when they see that girl, they will take her away from you. All your suffering, all your sweat, you have just wasted your time. Kenna, listen and listen to your God. Thanks for your advice. But I want to let you know that Miriam and I are bonded by the love that no one can break. Nobody would love herself so much, we come a long way. Miriam that I know can never in her entire life leave me for any other man in this life. I, Obina, will not get her pregnant. I will wait for her because she will never, ever in her entire life disappoint me. You know what? I love Miriam so much. Oh God, this is frustrating. You're glowing. I see that life is treating you well. Uh, let me just ask for formality. How are you enjoying your, your new job? Very well, Your Majesty. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Uh, it's, it's glaring that you find satisfaction doing what you have always wanted to do. I mean, really, that's what life is about. You know, fulfillment. Uh, you wake up every morning to something that you look forward to. Your Majesty, thank you so much for everything. I really do appreciate it. This is only the beginning. You're welcome. Anytime. By the way, I have a very close friend of mine I'd like to go visit tomorrow. And I was thinking that you... 
It will be nice if you are complaining. You know. It's okay. It's fine. I understand. If you can't make it, it's fine. I actually. No, 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 Your Majesty. I am just surprised. I will go with you. Oh, okay. That would be nice. I thought that you didn't want to be seen in public with your king. No, Your Majesty. Ah. Oh, Mali Changwa. Look like you're shy. You cannot even look at your king straight in the eye. Huh? Look at your king. Where are you coming from? From the palace. The Igwe sent for me. I'm sorry, I tried calling you, but you weren't taking your calls. Why was your phone switched off? I had a flat battery. I got home and Mama told me you came to the house with Ikenna. Yes, we came to the house. <sighs> Have you had something to eat? You don't look happy. Okay, I'll just go prepare something for you quickly. Don't bother. I'm going out to share my car. this place and why are you trailing me you recall I once told you to choose your words very very careful right you recall telling me that you don't make real friends huh <laughs> but right now you are gradually falling in love with a king <laughs> so you want to tell me that you will be so ungrateful to Obina, your taxi driver lover, after all he has done for you, after all his sacrifice. Are you that mean? Are you? Points of correction, my princess. I am not falling in love with the king. Oh, please. And about my relationship with Obina, it shouldn't be a headache to you. Why are you digging deep about me? I am curious, you know. Time. Chatel. Is that not the princess of Azoka Kingdom? The daughter of Yugo Akaka? What did she come here to do? I don't know. She started stalking recently. Stalking you? Why? What for? I don't know. She's trying to cajole me into becoming friends with her. <laughs> friends with her? Why? I really do not know. But let's just forget about her. So tell me, how did your day go? Perfectly well. It was a bit stressful, but I'm good. Yeah. I made you something. Mm. Something sweet as you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
up in motors it. What's wrong? You're not looking happy. I'm fine. If you don't want me to go to the palace anymore, just tell me and I will not disobey you. No, 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 I'm not stopping you from going to the palace to see the king. You know, as a matter of fact, people go there to, to, to see him for one reason or the other. Hmm? I remember he helped in, you know, securing a uh, work with the state university. Hmm? But if you're not comfortable with it, I can stop. I'll quit. Oh, no, no, don't quit, please. You, you visit any time you want to visit, okay? Now, feel free. Are you sure you're okay? Of course. Very sure. That reminds me. Igwe said I should accompany him somewhere tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, I mean, the king wants me to go somewhere with him tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You, you, you can go with him. Yeah. Should I go? Huh? I mean, are you comfortable with it? Sh should I go with him? Uh, yes, I am. Very comfortable. <laughs> Uju? Uju? Yes, Your Majesty. Hand me a glass of juice. I just please see Your Majesty. Your new friend, the lecturer. She's fine, thank you. Mm. I see. For royalty, how dare you try to poison the king's drink? What? Shut up, my king. This girl dropped a love potion into your drink. I saw her. I don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. Handless question. Yes, go ahead. What is Princess doing in our palace? 
What is she doing here? After all, our king has chosen for himself a wife to be. So what business does she have in the palace? You that princess self. She is there for a business purpose. You mean it? Yes. She has a purpose. She has a target. Her, hey. her father planted her in the palace so she can seduce our king for him to succumb to giving out our oil without them paying the adequate compensation. Oh, yeah. ah. you man. That is it. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, uh, but but the, the truth is that the king refused. He categorically said no. Because he knows the negative effect it will have on our people in the future. Hmm. Yes. Oh, well. uh, he uh -huh. said, but eventually he changes his mind. Oh, they have to assure him of a safer place. A safer heaven. In other words, they have to make a better place for our people. Which means we will be having two kingdoms. Eh? You mean what you are saying? That is the Impossible! Way. Impossible! Ye, leaving this, our land, Omame. You see? Have you seen it? Igwe Okaka refused to comply with the demands of our king. Believing that planting his daughter in our palace will make an impact. Hmm. That's a rant nonsense. So, it will um, not happen. That is it. What, no. we, what we were saying before. Yes. You see, in a kingdom where you have wise, intelligent, peaceful men. Yes. You don't allow certain things to how can your friend put love potion in his majesty's juice? Is she out of her mind? Hey! She thinks this, these palace guards are just here to be watching. They are spiritually inclined. And even if you enter this palace today with a gun to assassinate his majesty, it will not make any impact at all. Yes. Some people need to ask questions. Like I don't understand. She's the only one crushing and desiring to be queen. I don't know. See, me, in my mind, I'm a queen already. In fact, I see myself sleeping in the Igwe's chamber every night. <clears throat> but I dare not say it. Because if I try it, I'm dead. Like she went too far. Seriously. We are all crushing on the king. But your friend went too far. She really did. She just went too far. Would you? I warned her. Hmm. I told her not to try anything funny. Hmm. But look where her desperation has gotten her. Going look at see. the way she was disgraced out of the palace. Hmm. Can you imagine the humiliation? Oh my God. Would you why? It's okay. Would you why now? It's okay. I know she's your friend. It's okay. Will I lose my fiancé? Every woman's desire is to get married to the king of the kingdom. Should I stop my fiancé from visiting the palace? Or should I stop trusting her? Will be nothing. Think. Oh. I think I have to do the needful. I know what to do. I I have 
have to get married. I have to get married to to Mirama, my love. Yes. But am I really ready for marriage now? Oh. Mm. Come to think of it. Why in the first place with a white lion ask my woman to accompany him to somewhere? Why? God. Just know that you will soon get married to Obina. I am not moved by any title or any frivolous things. Of course, you know your family. We are disciplined. And that's all. My husband, it has not gotten to that point. My daughter here only said that the highness wants her to follow him to somewhere. Right? Yes, Mama. Mm -hmm. So why are you thinking something different? I am saying it because somewhere down the line, you will start seeing uh, palace cars, palace visitors to offer women here. Just know that all I know is Obina. Eh? Uh -uh, Papa, why are you sounding this way? Besides, everyone knows Obina and I are meant to be together. Yes, but there is a but. I just hope that everything goes as planned. Mm -hmm. If the king said that you should go somewhere with him, you go now. Is that not a huge privilege? Yes, it is. After all your brain cracking and mental exercise, let me make it clear to you that you cannot convince our daughter otherwise. So be careful, woman. Have I Be careful! I've not said anything wrong here. I have told you. Be careful. Mr. Noah. Our Igwe, His Majesty, the White Lion himself, Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> asked me, the owner of this kingdom, to come and present this car to you. <laughs> Frankly, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, what, what this car is for, huh? What have I done to deserve the car? I mean, everything which is done in life, every goodwill is based on a, a quid pro quo, give and take. What have I done to deserve the car? My brother, Igwe Ikemba has declared his interest in making your daughter, Miriamma, his queen. Yes. You are taking care of my house. And I fell in love with you instantly. And since then, I have prayed that you come my way. It was here that I, I saw you and I knew your name, Miriamma. I want you. I want to build an empire with you. I want my world to revolve around you and your world to revolve around me. I want to be your king. I want you to be my queen. I want to give you my world and put it in the palm of your arms right now.
I belong to a man, my lord. I revolve around his world. He is my king and I am his queen. I want to remain in his kingdom. I am sorry if my words hurt you, my lord. I have never seen such boldness. Forgive me, my lord. You have a man, you say? Honestly, my lord. Oh, I should have known. I should have known that nothing good comes easy. But when you have something really, really good, you hold it close to your heart. You are a good king, my lord. To the best of my knowledge, my daughter Miriam has an inner Murato in a young man called Obinna. They have been courting for some years now, so I'm not taking the car. As for the issue of becoming an in-law to Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> I, I am sorry. I, I really am sorry. Oh, oh no, you know exactly where I am driving at. I'm sorry. I can't take the car. Well, uh, Mr. Onoa, the truth is that our king, the white lion, uh, needs a queen. We know you. We know you as a disciplined man, principled man, and all that. But our king, the king of this kingdom, needs a queen. Of course. And, and he has found your daughter worthy of being the woman after his heart. So, as we speak, they are on a date. With due respect to no, that is not true. I know my daughter. The person you are talking about is not my daughter. I mean, you have to cross-check your fact very well before making this kind of heavy statement. I, we, Mr. Noha, we have checked, we are sure of what we are telling you. I know Miriam very well. There are not two in this kingdom. She is the only female lecturer this kingdom has ever produced. We know her too well. Yes. And, uh, and uh, the king is very sure of what he is saying. Yes, we all know her too well. And uh, except you want to uh, let us know that you are not interested in becoming part of the goodies, about to happen in your family. Um, we have spoken at length. The, the, pre, the peroration is that um, I want to speak with my daughter. Yes, I want to speak with her when she comes back. It's not that I don't like the idea of being an in-law to Igwe Ikemba. But common sense demands that I speak with my daughter and know her mind. After all, I'm not the one who is going to marry. But until then, I'm not accepting the car. I think that's all for it today. You are not going to wear this long face here. Whether you wear it or not, of course, it's not going to change anything. You know I'm not going to support it. Nowhere. Queen or no queen. I'm not a part of it. All I know is Obinna. Yes, Obinna. If Obinna comes to me now and says 
he is done with our daughter. And I tried my possible best to settle the rift and it didn't work. There's a time I will think otherwise. So you better call your daughter now and tell her that I, the father, wants to see her. Did I say a word here? Did I utter one word here? Hmm. You don't have to utter a word before I understand that you are boiling inside. Am I no longer your husband? How do you know that I'm boiling? How? You are boiling inside, woman. If you, if you were not sitting there, I would have ordered you to go and sit down. Look, let's face it. Every woman will want her daughter to be a queen. Now, what I want you to know is that a queen doesn't necessarily need to be married into a palace. If any man is at peace with his woman, be he a rich man, poor man, old, young, royalty, etc., that man is married to a queen. As it is now, you are my queen. And I am your king. Forget about royalty. So that is the education you have to inculcate into the skull of our daughter. Eh? Forget about material. Don't be carried away by it. Of course, you know I'm not going to support it. And I'm not going to support please, it. Please, I've had enough. The king. Look at her. Simply because I did not accept a car gift, which to me I know is a bribe from His Royal Highness, Igwe Kemba. Now you are keeping your face as if you had a head-on collision with a trailer. Rubbish. Obi, what is wrong with the car again? Honey, honestly, I do not know. The car just packed me up here. <sighs> again? Again, yes. <sighs> Have you called the mechanic? I, I called him. He said he's on his way coming, so I'm waiting for him. Okay, let's wait for him together then. Eh? Yes, now. And what about the king? Both of you are coming back from somewhere. Please, go and join him. We'll see you later, please. Obim, the king knows I am here with you. I can't go back to him. You're under the sun alone. I have to be here with you now. Please, I don't want troubles. I don't want trouble. Please, I'm begging you. Go back to him. It please. doesn't matter. I will wait. Um, greetings. Is Anesis still waiting for you, Niska? He asked you to come with me. Everything all right? This meeting is hereby adjourned. None of you should ask why the meeting was adjourned. Because we were all there. I mean, none of you, none of you. Because we were all there. His Majesty is really troubled. And my suggestion is that we should give him a break. Today or for all day? Are they we fix to meet and finalize concerning the oil discovered on our land? Finalize what? Finalize what? Don't shout on me like that, Mokem. Okay? It's your job, 
What are you finalizing? The king has made his stand known, ab initio, on this matter, with clarity that the matter is over. So why are you bringing it up? What clarity are you talking about? I wonder. I'm asking you. What clarity? Listen. It's you okay, okay? The king has made his mind known in this matter. And we are not ready to go against our king. Yes. We can't disobey our king. Because the man is a visionary. We can't disobey him. Yes. So you mean we cannot look into it again, eh? Yes, bam. We cannot. Bam. That's what you are saying, Ichi of Fondo. Final. Okay. Since we cannot look into it again, it's okay. No problem. Ojofo, we should all be bothered about our king's unhappiness. Yes. We all saw what happened. His mood. Are you not surprised? So we should be bothered. And again, about all this cold pandemonium and all that, what, what, what for? What for? Why? Why all this? Oh no. Yes, we are bothered about the king's mood. Yes, we should also be bothered about the matter of the crude oil discovered on our land. Uh -huh. So the matter has to be brought back. You are totally confused. I will tell you this. Don't you know I'm about to have a choke? Now what is it, Mama? Don't you know I'm about to have a choke? No. No sane man runs after a rat while his house is on fire. Eh? You are totally confused. Is it not the same you that was supporting the king? All of you were actually happy that the king has made a fantastic point. Honestly. Then all of a sudden you change like a chameleon. Why the sudden change of mind? Why? And then bringing back a matter that was discussed, concluded, sealed during a meeting concerning our community development. Yes. Why bringing it back? Why? But we also have facts to present. Which facts? Quiet! No, no, why you keep quiet, everybody? Quiet! This matter is closed. It's over. And this kind of meeting will never hold again. Either in the palace or here or anywhere. It is over. I am not satisfied. We will not relent on this. Yes. We have to. We have oil. We have lots of oil in this land. We are richly blessed with these natural resources. No! Akunawa, we must revolt. We have to. All uh, right. Let us see Igu Okaka first. Yes, because his daughter is failing us by not getting our Igwe to bed to turn his head in our favor. So that we can lay our hands on what we need. Yes. Though I quite agree that uh, the white lion has been trying, but there's every need for him to up, to up the stage. Yes, upgrade. We cannot be blessed farmers and still be eating our, our farm products with a common crab. Eh? Now, if you buy a jeep, is there anything wrong? Ah, uh, I need it. I need jeep. If you should build another duplex in addition to your house, will you die? At all. I, I'm very, I'm very sure that if I should marry another two wives. There's nothing wrong. Or even if you marry extra four, there's nothing wrong. Let us see you work first. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You have, you have a good point. Oh, let let's go. go. Yeah. Let's go and see you. Elder among elders. I am not getting married to Igwe Kimba. Who is talking about that? How? I thank you so much for saying that. In fact, I am highly impressed. So what are you doing? A friend. A friend? Like you are befriending our Igwe. How? Yes, Mama. Igwe Kimba and I are just platonic friends. And that's it. How can anyone think that Igwe wants to make me his queen? Obina is the love of my life and everyone knows that. Yes, we do. We do. I know it. Eh? I said it. I said it. I know my daughter very well. Eh? Now, have you had it, woman? 
I've have you heard it? I've heard it. Papa, what's wrong with Mama? Don't mind your mother. Onowu and one elder came here with their car. They told me that Igwe Kemba dashed me a car and wants to make you his queen. I told them to go back with the car until I talked to my daughter. I'm satisfied now that I've heard from you. Don't mind your mother. You know, I have always told you to follow your mind. I have never been this heartbroken and dismayed, even as a king. My heart almost stopped beating when Miriam told me that she has a man. Not just a man. Or that you are the love of her life. Young man, where are you from? Yeah. I am from Ikenga Kingdom. Ikenga Kingdom has benefited from my benevolence and kind heartedness over the years. I am sure that you are aware of it. Yes, yes my lord, I am, I am aware of it. What is your name, young man? My my name is Obinga. Obinna. I am trying very hard. Very hard. Not to be like King David in the Bible, who had so many women but chose to take the life of Uriah because of his beautiful wife, Bathsheba. You know the story of the Bible, don't you? Yes, my lord, I, yeah, yeah. I know the story. I am going to give you the sum of 1.5 million US dollars. A house in London. All I ask, my friend, is that you go tell him, Miriam, that whatever has a beginning must come to an end at some point that your heart has stopped beating for her. That she should allow her heart beat for me. I do not think that I've asked for too much, have I? No, 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 my lord. You, you didn't. You didn't ask for too much. Good boy. Run along. Thank you.
because even I'm going to lose this one. <laughs> Only this one. <laughs> Only this one. <laughs> God. God, why? <laughs> you have taken all my children. This was how I love so much. <laughs> Only this one left, God. You want to take this away from us. <laughs> I live my daughter. Take my life. Take my life. I live my daughter. I cannot bear this. No. I want me to have her. I want me to have her. Generous King Guy. Ochi donyo ponye de noa. Ifo keli noa konanya. Baka wani, woke bide, woke bide He's helping the people, man of good will, he wanga He na de ax for reward, baka wani, bachi kasho Onye wele si wobi, sali sali, eshe fugiba He na de mesi for money, baka wani, woke bide He's helping the people, man of good will, he wanga He na de ax for reward, baka wani, bachi kasho You are pure in heart, loved by many. Ipesi bomanu, meloko giga baniru. Our kingdom is place, having you as our king. Your kingship has touched everyone's life. May your days be long.